mabuhay. Isang mainit na pagbati mula sa puso, mula sa aming lahat dito sa Bridges. Isang pagbati po ng uh, mapayapa, malusog, at uh, magandang gabi sa isang special na araw. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all our third viewers here and abroad. Good evening and good morning to all our viewers worldwide. I'm truly honored to join you tonight. Good afternoon from wherever you're at. And once again, thanks for tuning in. Good evening to all our viewers around the world. This is one of the best episodes we will have in Bridges, certainly, Ma'am Evelyn, right? Totoo yan, because tonight, we're going to feature very, two very well-known natin. Oo, <laughs> ano kanina, nung greetings yung kanina, sabi ko, ay, worldwide pala ito, kaya dapat eh, <laughs> i-cover ko lahat ng mga greetings ng morning, afternoon, and evening. Thank you very much for joining oh. us this very early morning there in LA. Hindi ko, pin- hindi, hindi ko nga pinagtulog tong anak ko para gisingin lang ako. Kaya hanggang ngayon gising pa sila. <laughs> Siyempre, kailangan ko munang batiin ang ating mga kasamahan na tumasino dito sa Bicol. Ang mga tumasinong Bicolano, marami po sa kanilang nanonood ngayon. Maraming salamat sa inyong pag-invite sa akin dito at magandang gabi. Uh, thank you sa mga viewers. I'm so glad po and it's really a big privilege to be here po in this episode of Bridges. Sa USP Hospital din po ako pinanganak. Kaya talagang tumasyan po ako. Tumasyan. Tumasyan all the way. Welcome to the show. Ganda po naman ang sinabi ko. Hindi po na narinig. So, hi everyone and nice to be back. I'm so glad to be here on Bridges. At naway uh, magkaroon tayo lang ang uh, mga fruitful na pag-usapan. So, Father, yeah. good afternoon. Marami ba mga, mga youth ngayon, mga kabataan, mga K-pop? Panyong sa'yo! Magandang gabi din sa ating mga fellow Tomasians and all those who are watching. I'm glad for trusting me <laughs> for this particular um, very important topic. Kailangan po natin ng mga yes. bridges na katulad ninyo at maraming po tumutulong sa ating uh, mga uh, adhikain. We have many inspiring stories of life's journey. As we journey, we constantly look for paths toward our goal in life, happiness. Surely, there are many descriptions of happiness. For some, it is the future goal. For others, it is what you make of the present. For some, Happiness is a moment of joy. In search of happiness, we must make decisions. Choose which path to take. In the end, we realize what matters most in life. Friends, this show is brought to you by the USD Alumni Association Incorporated and the Women in Infrastructure Foundation Incorporated. This is Thelma Maranya. Good afternoon, good evening, 
Good morning to our viewers around the world. Hi, good evening everyone. Pleasant good evening everyone. This is Giselle Baryon. Bumabati po sa inyo ng magandang hapon or gabi. Kung nasan man kayo ngayon sa mundo. Magandang ah. hapon, Miss Thelma. Yes, nako. Kanina lang umaga, tinex ko pa yung iyong asawa. Sabi ko, nako, swerting swerte ikaw. Napakaganda ng aking kako-host ngayon. <laughs> Talaga naman. Okay, so... Doc Giselle, excited ka ba yes, sa araw na to? Maliban sa magka-partner tayo ngayon. Of course, ang ating topic and of course, ang ating guest speaker ngayon. Sinabi mo na, Miss Thelma, no? talaga excited ako na ikaw ang aking uh, ka-partner ngayon kasi alam ko na malapit kang kaibigan ng aking asawa. And aside from that, of course, I love our topic for today. Uh, ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon, kagaya ng nabanggit mo kanina, no? the title is What Matters Most. Isa to sa mga pinaka-importante life process questions to ask, right? And uh, it requires for us to be in a life of journey, for us to be able to answer this seemingly simple yet difficult to answer. Now, para sa akin, itong tanong na ito, pag tinatanong ako kung ano nga bang pinakamahalaga sa akin, ang naiisip ko, contentment and a life of purpose or mission. Without preempting, okay, I would like to introduce later on our guest speaker for today. Yes. Sa totoo lang, no, Doc Giselle, etong statement na to, no, what matters most, eto talaga, damang-dama natin ito nung ating na-experience itong pandemic, di ba? Itong oh, pandemic. Yeah. Kaya nga, sabi ko, etong topic na ito ay talaga namang very timely. O sige na, Doc Giselle, simulan na natin. Thank you, you the Selma. honor of uh, introducing our guest speaker. Thank you. Our guest tonight is a former journalist who authored 39 books in the field of journalism, mass media, and communication. He's a graduate of Bachelor of Arts in Journalism from the Faculty of Arts and Letters, obtained his doctor in mass communication from the University of Minnesota. He became the publications director at the Cinema University where he produced a generation of newspaper journalists and publishers. He also taught in the University of the Philippines, Los Banos, where he gained expertise in development journalism and development communication. His journey as a journalist and communication expert in various universities abroad, such as University of North Dakota, Nanyang Technological University, Minnesota State University, and American College of Norway made him a multi-awarded professional. Currently, he's a science columnist in the London-based science communication news feature dubbed as SciDev, the SciDev Net, and at the same time, the chairperson of AMIC Board of Directors, a senior consultant at the Asian Institute of Journalism and Communication, and associate supervisor of PhD students at the University of Sydney, Australia. Friends, that's all welcome. Dr. Christine Maslow, a 2022 The Outstanding Tomashan Alumna Alumni Awardee. Hi, Dr. Christine. Hello. Glad to see you. Welcome Thank to Bridges. Yes, po. Congrats po, Doc. Doc Christine po ba or Doc Chris? Doc Chris na lang. Okay, Doc Chris. Doc Chris. Yan, I love it. Yes. <laughs> Nako, again po, congratulations po. Nagpunta po ako sa main so. building eh, kahapon, Monday, at talaga naman pong pinag-uusapan po kayo doon. Nakausap ko po yung ilang naka-attend. Nako, tuwang-tuwa po sila sa, sa inyong uh, mensahe. Ayan po. Welcome po to the show. Thank you. Congratulations again, Dr. Christine. Friends, you see the total award is the highest award given by the university to its alumni. Dr. Maslog, Dr. Oh, Dr. Chris, in short, how did you react when you learned that the university will bestow on you the total award? I was uh, elated, of course, 
although I knew I was being nominated, it still came as a pleasant surprise to receive the announcement from the rector that I was given the outstanding Silimanian Tomasian Award in the field of media and entertainment. Um, because it's, it comes from the most, one of the most prestigious and famous universities in the world, the University of Santo Tomas, the Royal and Pontifical University of Santo Tomas, uh, which has produced so many outstanding alumni. And I, I could just mention a few of them, Jose Rizal, Manuel Quezon, Mario <laughs> Osmeña, yes. Claro M. Recto, etc. So, Apolinario Magini, the heroes in our pantheon of heroes in the Philippines. So, it, it's quite an honor. So, thank you very much. I'm very humbled and I thank God for the, for the honor that has been restored to me. Ayan, Doc Chris, talaga naman, isa po kayong inspirasyon. Sabi ko nga, kung sino-sinong mga hindi namang tunay na bayani, no? Pero ito pong amin pong kaharap ngayon, ang ating pong guest speaker ngayon, eh talaga naman pong kahanga-hanga. Yes. We should have more of this session talaga, no? Di ba po, no, Doc uh, Giselle? Kaya naman excited po kami na talaga pong makilala kayo. Nung in, kami po ay, kung kayo po ay introduce kanina po ni Doc Giselle, Naku po, 39 books po ang inyong naisulat. Gusto po naman naming malaman, ano po ba yung inspirasyon ninyo sa pagsulat ng mga librong ito? Uh, before I proceed, narinig ba niyo yung sound of the rain o uh, na rooftop niya? Narinig ba niyo? Ah, hindi naman hindi po. Na, malinaw hindi na po to. <laughs> ah, okay lang. Uh, 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 mali, mali, malinaw naman yung voice niyo. Wala namang... Background noise. No, okay na okay po. Okay, so I can continue then. Yes. Uh, regarding the books, is that what you are asking me about? Oh, po. Anong ating inspiration in writing the book? Um, did you get a copy of my collage of the covers of my book that I sent earlier? I, I, I would like to talk while that is being shown on the on the screen. Is that okay? Okay, po. Sige po. Did uh, did uh, Ida uh, get the collage of book covers that I sent? All right. For so for our technical, kaya po ba natin ma to proceed in uh, showing po our collage? Ayun, okay. I can see it now, the books. There you go. Ayan, naman yan. All right. All right. So, 39 po yan, ano? Teka nga po, Doc Chris, ilang taon na nga po pala kayo? Ayan, si Doc Chris. All right. Doc Chris, I know na napaka-dami ninyong mga na-create na books and you're also a multi-awarded journalist. Do you still have him with us or nag-intermittent lang ang kanyang connection? Katanungin ko sana, uh, Ms. Thelma, kung regarding sa mga awards niya, no? Now, how, do, the, how does he view the awards that he has received so far? Yun sana ang kusunod kong tanong sa kanya. Tama eh. Pero sa tingin ko, itong huling na-receive niya nung Saturday, no? talaga namang memorable sa kanya. At sa, of course, napakahalaga sa atin. Kaya nga, Oo. ako hanga din ako sa, sa Alumni Association for really taking time no? na hanapin ang mga talaga namang nagbuhos ng kanilang talento, talino, no? para Oo. sa maraming bagay. At ito, Pagsulat ng libro, alam ko, Doc Giselle, alam ko na, alam na alam mo yan, no, yung pagsulat ng libro. Kaya, sige po, while we are waiting for Doc Chris, Doc Giselle, balita ko, chismis eh, no? <laughs> balita ko, eh, meron ka rin nasulat na libro. Nito lang, matagal na ba yan? 
Actually, Ms. Thelma, hindi ko pa nga nasusundan to eh. 2018 pa siya, Ms. Thelma. Uh, kagaya ng topic din natin ngayon, no, which is what matters most. Yun din ang naging inspiration ko. Yung tanong na yun ang naging inspiration ko for me to create this book. And the book, if I may just show it, it's entitled, ah. You Can Do It! Ayan! Wow. This is Keys to Personal Development, a Guidebook for People at Work. Pero actually, before ko na-create to, ang tanong ko is what matters most in life. Kung hindi mo mo natatanong, Ms. Thelma, no? Itong Six Keys to Personal Development, a guidebook for people at work. Meron siyang dalawa kasing keys. May dalawang main na susi. Although, amin yung susi na sinasabi dito, pero may dalawang main na susi. Ano yung dalawang main na susi? Of course, may tinatawag ng intrinsic keys. Ito yung state mm-hmm. of reflection. Kaya nga tayo may tanong, di ba kagaya kanina, yung dapat ang itatanong natin yung what matters most, di ba? Yung state of reflection, ano ano ba yung pwede natin mapagnilay-nilayan? Unang-una, ano ba yung purpose natin talaga in life? Why are we created? Magandang, magandang tanong yan, di ba, Ms. Thelma, sa palagay mo? Well, alam mo, Doc Giselle, yung, yung, yung pagninilay-nila, yan yung isang bagay oh. na parang marami tayo sana sa panahon Totoo. ng pandemya, no? Pero parang medyo mahirap yung kalaban natin, ano? Andiyan ang Netflix, no? Andiyan ang panonood, uh, paghahanap, pag search sa Facebook, andiyan din ang YouTube. So, sabi ko nga talaga naman. Pero dito, sa nasulat mo, ano yung pinakamensahe ng yung pang pagre-reflect natin sa buhay? Actually, Ms. Thelma, di ba nga sabi ni Socrates, an unexamined life is a is not worth living. Okay? An unexamined life is not worth living. So, in short, mahalaga na yung self-awareness na tinatawa. Meron tayong reflection na ginagawa sa sarili natin. Kung baga, before natin uh, turuan ng iba, tayo muna, alamin mo natin, kilalanin muna natin kung ano ba tayo, ano ba yung mahalaga para sa atin. Of course, sa gaya nga na sinabi mo, Ms. Thelma, no, marami tayong kalaban ngayon. Andiyan ng, ang dami eh. Netflix, sabi mo nga, mga games. Ano pa ba? Yes. YouTube! And a lot oh, more, oh. di ba? Pero itong pagdanilay-nilay, hindi naman kailangan ng dalawang oras, isang oras eh. Yung araw-araw, kung paano mo pinahalagahan yung buhay mo, actually, ka pwede mong mapagnilay-nilayan itong mga to eh. Like for example, ah, yung defining your life purpose, may mga process questions time pa pwede yung tanungin na makakapag-unfold ano, ng mga tanong na yon sa atin, ng mga sagot na sa mga tanong na yon sa atin. Like for example, bakit sa tingin mo God created you? Why did why do you think that God created you? And uh, uh, who do you want to help or to serve? Or what value do you want to create for others? These are just some of the uh, process questions that we can ask ourselves para mapagnilay-nilayan natin kung ano ba yung purpose natin in life. Ikaw ba, Ms. Thelma, uh, mag, since conversations muna tayo ngayong, uh, ngayong maulan na hapon na to, no? um, ikaw ba, Ms. Thelma, pag natatanong sa yung mga ganun, what is your life purpose sa palagay mo? Siguro sa edad natin, somehow, hindi naman tayo nagkakala yun, no? <laughs> uh, marami na tayong pinagdaanan, no? Kanina nabanggit ko, para sa akin, ang life, uh, ang mat- nag-matter sa akin ngayon is contentment at saka yung... Uh, ma-discover or continuously ma-live rather yung life mission ko or purpose. How about you, Ms. Thelma? Alam ano mo, Doc Giselle, sa totoo, purpose, sa totoo lang, oh, ako po ay 50 years old, no? So, yung, mm-hmm. nung nag-50 ka, kasi sa totoo lang, meron kang life pur- purpose na na-determine mo nung ikaw ay bata-bata, tapos nung ikaw ay nag-asawa, ganyan, no? Nag-iiba siya kung minsan, minsan naman nag-iiba ng hugis, no? Kaya, kung minsan parang naiinip ka. Ganito ba ang aking maraming katanungan ano? Kaya nga ako natutuwa ako kasi sa totoo lang para po sa at sa mga nanonood ngayon ano. Ito pong uh, actually ito pong ating guest uh, si Doc Chris ay 39 books. So Doc, si Doc Giselle may susunod na no. Actually Sana, yung kanila pong hindi <laughs> lang ang welcome ni Stella. <laughs> Magkaroon ng oras. <laughs> yes, ang kanila pong ginawang pagsusulat ay talaga naman pong sila po ay nag-reflect. At more than that, ibinahagi po nila ang kanilang pagre-reflect ng kanilang life's purpose. Kaya nga tayo, bilang nagbabasa, 
we should really take advantage of all of these things. Napakadami po nandyan na po. Kaya nga po, kung minsan, no, may mga nagpapaalala sa atin, mga bagay na parang mahirap, masakit, actually, hindi mo alam, baka kumakatok to, eh, no? Ay, kumakatok sa iyo. Diba? Kasi baka oh, minsan, minsan ganun na. Oo. Oo, nakumportable ka, eh, kung nasaan ka man. Kaya kung minsan, meron kang mga trials, bakit ito nangyayari sa akin? Diba? Yun yung time na yun, minsan, oops, diba? Time for you to reflect. Diba? Kagaya nga, ano, Miss Thelma, sabi mo nga, diba, may mga challenges sa buhay natin na uh, lumalapit or nangyayari kahit hindi natin ginusto because it's simply teaching us a lesson. Uh, kung maaalala natin, Miss Thelma, diba yung sikat na libro na Harry Potter, it was uh -huh. written by uh, J.K. Rowling. Si J.K. Rowling, kung titignan ng marami sa atin, wow, she's a successful author. Lahat ng mga, uh, lahat ng mga na-write niya na books on Harry Potter, di ba may mga ano yun, yung mga sequel. Lahat yun nag-succeed, naging best-selling. But actually, yung life niya is not just about uh, success after all. Itong nakikita natin na superficial, may mga pinagdaanan siya sa buhay before niya na-reach yung success na to. Okay, like si J.K. Rowling, before siya naging best-selling author and before siya naging millionaire, uh, nag-pass away ang kanyang nanay, no. naging walay sila ng kanyang asawa, before siya naging successful na author. At speaking of successful author, we're back, finally! We're happy that Dr. Chris is already here with us. Hi, Dr. Chris! Uh, I, Dr. Hope Chris. Did, I hope oh. we did I hope we did not miss me too much. Ah, of course, no, we will we, always, ano, we will always look forward for your, ano, for your presence. Ah, Dr. Chris, actually, kanina, uh, meron akong katanungan na pag-usapan nga namin ni Ms. Thelma. Uh, kanina, pinakita ni, uh, pinakita natin dito, no, sa ating show na The Bridges, yung, yung mga librong na isulat. Ngayon, okay. uh, Dr. Chris, aside from the, of course, you are uh, uh, an established journalist, author of many books, but aside from that, you're also a multi-awarded journalist. At this point in your life, how do you see the awards that you have received? Paano niyo po tinatanggap yung mga awards na tanggap ninyo? How do you see it? Yes, Dr. Chris. Yes, sandali lang nga. Mayroong interaction dito sa ano. I did not hear you. Okay. Okay na, sir. Open yung mic nyo. Kaya maraming hindi mo yung ganap. Okay. My technician kasi was advising me, so I'm sorry I did not Hear your uh, your introductory statement. Kindly, kindly summarize. Yes, uh, Doc Chris. I know that and dami yun na pong achievements in life, Doc Chris. And you're also a multi-awarded journalist, Doc Chris. How do you view all the awards that you have received, all these recognitions, accolades that you have received through the years? Paano niyo po siya tinitake, considering po ah. Uh, Uh, itong mga awards na ito ay hindi biro-biro like maging total awardi ka lang eh it's a big uh, it's a big deal already lalo na sa ating mga formations how do you see all these awards that you have received all through the years okay uh, thank you for the question i i think uh, you, we are trying to cut the uh, the program short no but uh, let me just address very quickly the matter of the books because to me that's important um Regarding the books, I am a writer that looks at a purpose for a book. In other words, when I write something, I already have a very clear idea of who is going to read that book. So from the very beginning, I've always been writing my books with the end in view of writing for students, for practitioners, for teachers in communication. And this started in 1975 when we founded the Philippine Association of Communication Educators. I was a founding member. And uh, when we set up the organization, we saw immediately there was a need for instructional materials for our students and our faculty. And so I, I started that. And, since then, I, 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 I have written uh, a book on introduction to communication, introduction to journalism, the development and communication, all, all with a definite purpose in mind. So that, that's the inspiration for my writing the books. 
And that's the reason why I have not stopped writing until now because there is still a need. So uh, that, uh, that addresses that question. Then you, do you want me to go ahead and go to the second question? Yes, Dr. Chris, go ahead. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, kasi you are probably trying to uh, uh, look With all the awards. No, we, we have limited time, don't, don't we? So, How people, Doc Chris, uh, we still have a few more minutes to go. Uh, until ano pa naman tayo? Until 6, tama po ba? Okay. We're, we're on time po. We're on time naman po. We're on track. Okay, I was trying to uh, rush because I was we lost time there during that uh, interruption. Anyway, um, the awards. There, there are some awards that are unexpected and they are the ones that are most, uh, most uh, uh, appreciated. One of them, uh, believe it or not, came from the American Indians in the United States. I was there for two years. I was teaching Native American Indians uh, about uh, how, you know, how to write in English. You know? And also about uh, how to study. You know? Because in the, in, in the US, the um, American Indian colleges are always the, the most underserved and under uh, appreciated. So the students there are belong to the sort of uh, in the lower class of uh, society. So they need a lot of help. So I, I went there and I, I helped them learn the English language, learn how to study, learn how to succeed in life, because these are the people who are uh, we are behind, behind their society in terms of development. So for one day, uh, you know, I was teaching there for two years. In, during the first year, one day, an American Indian elder came to my office and asked me if he could bestow on me an American Indian name mm -hmm. and, adopt, and adopt me as a member of Indian society. Wow. <laughs> I was surprised. I said, I, I didn't know anything about that practice, no, but I learned later that this is the Indian way of giving appreciation to people in the community, especially foreigners who come in and help them with improve their own lives. No? So I, I did not pay attention to it at first. And then he kept coming back two or three times until I finally said, Okay, so what, what do we do, you know? So he, he explained to me that there, there is a ceremony, uh, there is an Indian medicine man, there is an Indian uh, uh, chant, chanter this, who, who sings the Indian, the Indian songs and beating the drum. So they invited me to that occasion. I'm sorry if I'm giving more time to this, but this is yes, something okay, different. Okay, go ahead, this is not, I don't think anyone in the Philippines has experienced this. Mm -hmm. So I, they invited me and I went to this house and they, we, uh, my family and my Indian uh, family was there. And then they invited friends. And then it, I, start, I sat in the middle of the room and I was in front of me was a, a skull of a, a buffalo and uh, uh, be, um, and behind me was an Indian uh, uh, service chanter no he was chanting the Indian song he yeah 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 he yeah you know, like he was dancing around me you know like, like that no? and then beside me was the medicine man and, and so it that that was a ceremony that took uh, an hour. My wife, my family were there, and we really were, were so touched by this gesture oh, oh, huh, of appreciation. Oh, oh. Doc Chris, this morning, 
I was trying to to learn how to pronounce the name that they granted you, your Indian name, Mene Luzahan. Tama po ba? Right. Mene, you are, you're good. You're good. And uh, it's it means swift flowing water. Right, right, right. Wow, swift amazing, amazing. Water. I, oh, the, I was nice. adopted by the North Dakota. Uh, North Dakota. Uh, Lakota sila po Indian. ay sa Lakota Indians ng Fort Yates. Right. Opo, right. this was in 2009. Kaya nga, truly amazing. Kaya nga po sabi ko, ito pong ating bridges. Kayo po bilang aming guest. Yan po talaga ang objective ng ating show. Maipakita, makilala, di ba po, Doc Giselle, ng mga, oh. hindi lang ng mga tumasino, ng buong mundo, ang ating pong yes. mga achievements at talaga naman pong alam niyo po, isang huwaran. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ayan po, tama po, Doc Giselle, nagsisimula pa lang po tayo. Doc uh, Chris, we will take a short break. Ah, yes po. Uh, yung this, this Lakota tribe in North Dakota has also adopted another famous man named, oh. named Barack Obama. Oh, okay. <laughs> Barack Obama is my brother in the Indian world. Oh. And they say that you cannot enter the Indian heaven unless you have an Indian name. So the first thing that they will ask you when you die and you go to heaven and you go to the Indian part of heaven, they will ask you what is your Indian name. I have to I have to be searched for my Indian name now. <laughs> so I'll go yeah. to heaven too. <laughs> yes, kaya nga Doc Giselle, we have a Filipino and an Indian guest with us. Kaya yes. po ma- masaya po ang ating discussion. So, Doc Chris, we will just take a short break. Friends, we will be back in a short while. Okay, thank you. We are always on the move. Always on track. And in full swing. Serving the Thamashian community by creating. Grow and growl with us. We are in full swing. We are the Tiger Media Network. We are back. Yes, Doc Giselle. Okay, ayan. Oh, actually kanina ang daming na share sa atin ni uh, Doc uh, Doc Chris regarding dun sa kanyang journey sa pagsusulat ng book. Ah, uh, Miss Dams, may gusto ka bang itanong regarding sa kanyang passion sa pagsusulat at pagtuturo? Ayan nga, isa totoo lang ha. 
Doc Chris, tama po ba? 90 years old po kayo. Eksakto pong 90, no? Well, 90 and... Uh, January, February. <laughs> five months. Oh, di ba po? Yeah. Ay, wow! <laughs> Mukha pa nga, no? Bata si, ano, si Doc Chris. Doc Chris, akala ko 89 ka lang. <laughs> no, seriously, you look young for for your age. Thank you. And considering na napaka ano pa no, napaka sharp pa ng kanyang memory and he was able to articulate uh, yung mga facts and yung mga uh, uh, makalimutin na rin. Ano nga pangalan mo, Jessica? <laughs> Ayun. <laughs> Ayun po. Sige po. Ah, so, Doc Doc Chris, gusto po naming malaman eh. So what were the challenges of being a writer? Yon, yes, Doc Chris. Okay. Um, well, um, let, let me just say, no. Um, maybe this is not clear in the minds of young young writers and young people starting on this route, no. There are two kinds of writers, really, no. The literary writers and the journalists. The literary writers write poems, short stories, novels, uh, essays, uh, and they write for any audience who like to read uh, e excellent literature. No? So, wala silang definite audience in mind mm -hmm. unless they work for a publishing company and they are told to write books for children, yeah? children's books. So mayroon na silang definite audience in mind. But we're talking about in general, no? when you are beginning as a writer, hindi si po, I want to be a writer. Kagaya ni Frankie Sionese, ni, ni Wil, Wilfredo Noyedo, ni Rolando Pino, you know, ni Julie Abdasa, etc. No? I want to be a writer, but you really don't have an audience to write for. So, susulat ka, and then bibigay mo sa magazine, and then they will publish it. Depende on who the readers are of that magazine. Okay, now on the other hand, there are journalists. These are the people who write for a newspaper, for a radio station, for a news agency, like in my case, Azan's France Press, uh, for a PR, you know, a PR company. Meron silang definite audience in mind, so they write for that particular audience. You know? So uh, when you say you want to be a journalist, you don't necessarily mean you want to be a a writer for a newspaper or a writer for a a book company, you no. Know? because your audiences are different. So that's for journalists who are writers, no? but there are journalists who are not writers, broadcast media reporters, television reporters, no? the well, social media ngayon, ha, na dagdag na yan. In, in our days, wala pa yung social media. So the people who, who go to radio and television do not really uh, they are not writers per se they are broadcasters no so of course they they have to know the language to a certain extent oral particularly but they don't have to master the the ins and outs of uh, grammar etc no so when you say you want to be a journalist, you have to keep this in mind. No? In my case, um, I started out in high school uh, writing poems, short stories, etc. No, because I did not know any better. Then I went to college. Then I, uh, in, you know what? In in our in our uh, uh, classes at USD at that time, we had eight writing courses. Wow. News writing, feature writing, uh, poetry writing, 
um, editorial writing, uh, uh, all kinds of writing. We had to we had to be good writers. That's why, because the the idea was if you are going to be a journalist, you must be a writer. Wala pa yung masado yung TV nung araw. TV came in 1953, no? The, the year before, no, just a couple of years before I graduated. Wala pa TV nung araw. Radio lang. So sa radio mm -hmm. naman, uh, you, you write uh, your script, no? Pero uh, in, in, in essence, journalism really meant writing in the early days. No? So, yeah, uh, that, that's the, you know, in, in, when I reached college, that's when I, I realized that I wanted to be a journalist. So no longer the literary writer. Pakinggan mo, in, in, in my, my classmates in, in faculty of philosophy and letters, we're not all journalists, no? Ako journalist. Si Charlie Agate naging public relations. Si Wilfredo Noliedo nagiging uh, playwright, Nag nagsusulat ng mga plays. Mm -hmm. Si Rolando Tinio nagiging poet, uh, writing poetry. So iba-ibang ano, iba-ibang ano. So hindi, hindi talaga writer lang. So I want to start with that ano, to disabuse people, young people. That journalism, it means manunulat, hindi lang manunulat. You, you are doing many other things aside from writing. In my case, I decided I want to go journalism. So, the one that I was working on, I was Press. I was writing news for news agency. So, yeah, and then I, I went to a newspaper and was writing news, news stories. I was writing editorial. I was writing columns, opinion columns. So, yeah, ang one, ano, one track of journalism. Young others, like Wilfredo Nelliano and Rolando Pino, you must have heard of these people, went to other fields. Although in the basic training, I mean, in the in the So, uh, in my case, uh, I mean, was it? Uh, can you remind me what the question was? <laughs> the challenges, po. Na naririnig ko po yung inyong mga contemporaries. Nako, amazing. Yung ilan po dyan, eh, na-meet ko rin po, no? Dr. Kinala, Nedo kinala po, po, ano? Kinala mo tayo mga yun? Oh, 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 oh. Kaya, oh, oh. only half of what, what I know. And then si Jo, jo Burgos, ha? Si oh, Peppermann, oh. naging uh, bayani ng, ano, yung martyr sa... Ako nga po, I'm very ako. excited. Kasi na-meet ko po si F. Shonil Jose. Parang just uh, like a si month ago po, he passed away. Kaya, ah, ah, si Frankie Chodel siya, yeah. Uh, opo. Kaya very exciting po. Nako, ay hindi niyo po natatanong ang aking pong partner ay nakapagsulat na rin po ng libro. Ayan. Dok Giselle. Anong title? Ay, ako ba? Akala ko ikaw. <laughs> ay, actually, ano, uh, Miss Thelma, no, since uh, we have few minutes left, Ito eh, kanina ko pa gustong malaman ng kasagutan dito. Kasi di ba ang title po ng program natin, Doc Chris, is What Matters Most. Um, mm. Si Doc Chris, di ba, yung gabi yung mga naging achievements niya in life. And I'm sure marami siyang words of wisdom na may iwan sa atin sa ngayon. With regard to our topic for today, no, yung pinaka, yung gist ng ating ano ngayon, ng ating topic. Ano nga po ba ang pinakamahalagang bagay sa buhay? Uh, with all these accolades and uh, successes that a man experience in life, ano po ba ang magandang aral na pwede natin maibahagi in terms of uh, what is important in our life, uh, Doc Chris? Yeah, thank you, thank you for that question. That's, that's a very, very, very nice question. Uh, to me, most important is, is happiness. No? Happiness. You, you want to be happy uh, until the end of your life. And this is how I approach it, no? Uh, of course, being a Catholic, you know, I, I am a, a practicing Catholic, and I, I, I follow the, uh, the ethics and the ethos and the way of life of the Catholic. But uh, aside from that, as a general, as a, a, a person living his life at 90 years old, you know, when I when I retired at the age of 65, in, in, in UP, because you have to retire at the age of 65, whether you can still do it or not, we can, whether you can still work or not, 
I told him I, I can teach better than any of you at uh, this age, you know. But anyway, I I was forced to retire. So the next question, uh, the mga kaibigan ko, they approached me in a very conspiratorial manner and whispered mm -hmm. to me and said, what are you going to do now? <laughs> And what was the answer to that, though, Chris? The answer is going to be long, but uh, give me <laughs> Sige, in a nutshell, give, give me three minutes. But <laughs> uh, before that, I I noticed na marami sa aking mga contemporary were so excited about retiring. Sabi nila, naku, now I have more time to watch TV, I have more time to read books, I have more time to pasyal pasyal and visit my airport. I have more time to etc. etc. No, sabi ko sa ating sarili, I am not going to go that route. You know, you know uh, five, uh, nine out of the ten people who follow that route were dead in five years because the law of nature says any any part of your body that you stop using will deteriorate. That's the law of nature. Stop using your brain, and in 10 years, you will lose it. Stop using your, 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 your feet. In five years, you will lose it. You will no longer be able to walk. So I told myself, I will be active until the very end. Okay? So active means two be things. Active. Two things. One, active physically. So, mm. yung aking mga kasama, happy-happy sila kasi they were playing tennis, they were jogging every morning, they went uh, swimming, etc., mm. etc. So, okay, han, okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm not questioning that. So, I, I was playing tennis. I, I've been playing tennis since, since uh, I was 20 years old. And I've been playing tennis since I was 80. I was wow. 80. And, you know, they... I will tell you an anecdote bakit ako tumigil sa tennis at 80. Kasi nagyayawang ako sa apo ko. Sabi ko, I will teach you to play, play tennis. I was a champion during my time. No? So, palo-palo kami, palo-palo. Opo. But one, one day, I found out na I could not hit the ball anymore. Oh. <laughs> so, napahiya ako sa apo ko. Sabi ko, ikaw na lang magtetennis. Uh, Ayaw ko na kasi... Ibang ang bola nyo dito, masyadong mabilis eh. Ayun ko na ito, nauuwi na eh. Uh, so, kayo na lang magte-tennis. So, that's the reason for my stopping tennis at the age of 18. Anyway, back to my to my theory about about longevity. So, any 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 part of your body that you stop using, you, you will ano. Pero, if you are exercising, ha, ah, that keeps your body strong and functioning. But the problem is people forget about their minds. So, tennis, pag nila, sit in front of the TV and this, their mind stops working, mm -hmm. manunod na lang sila ng Publisiano. <laughs> tinamaan, tinamaan tayo. Okay lang sana kung bridges ang papanoorin nila eh, no? Diba? Tapos sana pag-guess si Dok, ano yung, Dok, Miss Pin. Yung uh, nakalimutan ko na. Yung Keno, anyway, anyway, anyway. Catherine Bernardo ba, Dok? <laughs> uh, yung, yung, ano, yung, yung, uh, about uh, si Doc, ha? digital media yung mga ano mga yes mga, Netflix video ha uh, Netflix and I want hindi, TV hindi, hindi. yung may series niya na kung ano ba yung mga drama really oh, oh. going around na uh, uh, digital ay yung ano anyway uh, just to make it short uh, so you you stop you stop making your mind work mm -hmm. Kasi na lang. Absorb, you absorb, you absorb, you absorb. So kahit exercise ka, malakas ka, your mind starts to deteriorate. Slowly by slowly, right. your mind absorbs the, the, the what, dramas and then wala ka ng reaction, wala ka ng feedback. 
wala ka nang ano. So, your mind stops working. So, your, your body is still active, but your mind stops working. So, you have to exercise both your minds and your bodies up to the very end. That's why I, my exercise is writing books. I write one wow. book a year. I, I, I just <laughs> finished wow. my latest book, uh, my, my 40th book, uh, 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 Jokes Only. A book, wow. <laughs> a book on the 30 ASMs. Wow. I, I compiled all the uh, dirty jokes of the 30 and they are in, in one book. You have to buy it, huh? You have to buy it. We will support you, Doc Chris. <laughs> we would love to see a copy of that book. Doc okay. Chris, before I hand over the last question to Ms. Telma, uh, if I may ask, Doc, nakakailang pages ka ng, uh, ng writing ng, ano, ng draft ng book mo? Kasi sabi mo, nakakaisang book ka sa isang taon. Nakakailang page ka or pages sa isang araw? Ah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't count by day. By ah, day. wala kang gano'n. Kasi ah, diba, isang page daw sa isang araw para makabuo sila ng isang book no, sa isang Kasi minsan, you, you can write 10 pages in one day. Hmm. Minsan naman, isa lang. Minsan, wala. You just keep thinking. I see. So, eh, yung Duterte book, it took me a year, including the research, no? Including the research, no? Uh, most of the books that I write are all, all, all Almost, uh, yan, yan ang the average. Also, some of them are sponsored. They, I, uh, the next book I have will be the Amic History Book, Asian Media Information Center. It's coming out this year. Uh, because I tapos ko na yung draft and uh, uh, meron ng funding. After that, this, the Philippine Association of Communication Educators, history, dalawang history yun. That was also funded and ready to ano the kunting editing na lang and that's those are my two next books Asia uh, Amic history and Pace history so nakahana na yung 40 40th 41st and 42nd books for for me so anyway that that's <laughs> eh na tempo ang kita po ba yan Doc Chris sa uh, National Bookstore yung books niyo yung mga uh, bagong na write niyo na books yeah in all most bookstores except national kasi ah, okay. um national bookstore i think has shifted to mm -hmm. special items okay so, okay new day new day uh the solidarity um no way sa uh, I just approach uh, no <clears throat> yung 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 book bookmark ba yun bookmark yung sa nasa sa 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 Bonifacio Fort Bonifacio um, anyway uh, three three bookstores no they are in the three bookstores no and uh, I will send you uh, power books po ba yan, Doc Chris? Uh, hindi, hindi. Power books, hindi. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, that's the... Uh, Baka central books or fully book? Fully booked, yeah. Rex Bookstore, Rex Bookstore. Oh, yeah. Rex okay. Bookstore, oh, textbooks, oh, oh. Um, textbooks. Rex Bookstore, Solidarity, New Day, uh, and then yung, yung bagong bookstore in... Ano, in, in uh, uh, global sa global anyway yeah so that's that's it that's the story of my books that's why i i, I write a book a year no? uh since i was well uh, i i started when i was 40 i think and almost not every year but almost every year so i'm now 19. yeah Oh, Doc Chris, grabe. Ako po ay talaga namang amazed na amazed. Sabi ko nga, natutulala ako, no? <laughs> Oo, ako rin. Oh. Sobrang inspire ako ni Doc Chris na magsulat pa lalo ng libro. Ayan, dahil ang maganda, Doc Giselle, you ngayon. already have one, di ba? One pa Kaya... lang eh. <laughs> Pero dahil sa'yo, Doc Chris, to go. Doc Chris, mag-usap tayo mamaya kung ano yung mga teknik mo pang iba. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, be before I forget, uh, mayroon ba kong one minute? You know? Sure po, sure. Uh, kasi, kasi I challenge your dean sa College of Arts and Sciences. 
Sabi ko, let's write one book in one year. Magawa natin yan. I think it's about time that we wrote a book about the famous graduates of Philips. Kasi Philips is distinct from Artlets. Huh? Philips has a history of its own. The reason why sikat ang Philips is because during that time, wala pang ibang uh, journalism or mass comm schools. Remember? 1936, ang hanggang kailan na nasara na ang Philips. And then Artlets came. So between 1936 and 1951 or something, the, the elite school of journalism and mass comm was Philips UST. Well, oh. you, uh, UP Diliman started 1965. Siliman, 67. Mm -hmm. Los Banos, 64. Before that, Wala. There was no journalism. So the famous, we are to, ngayon, sarawal, sarado na yun, ano? We are now beginning a new generation of UP na ngayon ang sumisikat. Ha? Wala na ang UST. Na, nahahabol ng UST. Pero we have to preserve the, the excellence of UST in those days. We can do that by writing a book about the famous people. Noliedo, Frank de Sione Lose, uh, um, Julie Abdasa, um, um, sino ba yun? Joe Burgos, Frank uh, Pitatad, um, sino ba yun? Ang and dami, ang dami. So, I, I can mention 10. 10 at least who deserve a chapter in that book. Get a class of graduate students to write research and write a chapter on each one of them. I will edit the book. Wow, I am. Somebody who will yeah. help me will get the, <clears throat> the honor of being my co editor. Wow. Doc Chris, alam nyo po, Doc Giselle, nung last uh, program lang po din natin ng Bridges, naka, talaga naman po ang daming realizations. Ang dami-dami po talagang maganda pang gawin. No? <laughs> Maliban po sa mga mukhang nakakagalwaan natin ngayon. Pero Doc, pasensya na po. Sige naman po, nasa ending na po tayo ng ating programa. Okay, what but don't forget our the final challenge. message po? Final message po to our viewers. Okay, okay. Uh, one minute or two minutes? Okay, ganito, ganito, ganito. My final message is like this. Live your life to the fullest until your last breath. This means, this means, you keep working like writing a book a year until the very end. Ayaw ko nung, ako retired na. So I will enjoy life, manood lang ako ng sine, etc. I enjoy also writing the book, you know. That's just true. I also watch Provinciano with my wife. But uh, I enjoy writing the books also, doing the research. So to me, writing is not work. It's enjoying life to the very end. And so yun ang aking message. You should continue what you're doing. Continue with your exercise. I, I walk every other day, one hour. At the age of nine, 90 and five months. I, I, I write a book a year. You know, I, oh yes. Be useful. Yung mga libro ko, all the proceeds I have donated to a foundation. It's my foundation, Maslow Trust Fund. The foundation is deposited in the bank at Siliman University, and it earns money to pay for uh, tuition and other expenses of communication students at Siliman University. The reason I selected Siliman is because the students there are poor, they, they belong to the uh, B and C classes. No? Walang A doon. Ang UST naman, A, A and B, no? Ang UP naman, libre. 
they are <laughs> spoiled oh. they are give it for, by 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 the state so doon ko na lang binigay sa sa Cinnamon University so i have a trust fund there all the sales of my books go to that trust fund so you know it's not just living life now it's living life for others so my final message is live life to the fullest be useful uh, give to others pass forward Wow. So many beautiful insights. Thank you so much, Dr. Chris Maslow, our special guest for today. Ms. Delma? Yes, sa totoo lang, no? sabi ko nga itong hapon na to, as always, ang bridges. Talaga namang kayo ang nagdadala, nagpapakilala sa, sa ating Tomasian community and more than that, maliban dan, lahat ng nanonood, talaga namang nakikilala natin ang mga achievements, no? ng mga tumasino na talaga namang dapat nating ipakilala sa bawat isa. Kaya nga po sa araw na to, tandaan natin ang sinabi ng ating guest, no? Ano, hindi sapat na physical exercise lamang, mahalaga rin ang mind, no? Para yes. para talagang uh, makita natin no what matters most. Kaya si ating si Doc Chris, gusto talaga po naming pasalamatan. Doc Chris, wag po kayo mag-alala. Nag-apologize po siya kanina kasi maulan po sa kanila ngayon so medyo maingay pero everything po ay talaga namang uh, nagawa natin itong hapon na to kaya maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo and congratulations yes, po. Congratulations Dr. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We're proud of you. Thank you. Yes, of course. Uh, meron lang po kaming ilang announcements, no? So, sa May 28 po, uh, meron po tayong magkakaroon po ng Flores de Mayo. So, abangan lang po natin ito sa FB page po ng USTAAI. And of course, gusto din po nating pasalamatan uh, maliban sa USTAAI, ang Women Infrastructure Incorporated. Uh, kasama po natin sa pag-organisa po ng ating programa sa hapon na ito. Ayan po. So, ako po 50 years old ngayon. Pero si <laughs> si Doc Chris 19 ako po. Talaga pong nakakita po siya. Sabi natin ng fountain of reasons to write. Yan po. Kaya thank po you, kami thank you, God. Thank you Lord and uh, we, we 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 thank the Lord that we get the chance to meet you. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po. So once again, we would like to thank our sponsors and of course those who attended who are present virtually. Sama-sama po tayo, hindi lang po ninyo alam. Ang nag-organisa po ng ating programa sa araw na ito ay nasa iba't ibang lugar oh, ng yeah. buong mundo. Kaya nga po kanina po, Doc Chris, nag-greet kami. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Kaya po uh, marami rin pong salamat kay... Attorney Elena Francisco, the president of the Law Alumni Foundation Incorporated. Thank you, Thank you so much, Dr. Chris. Maraming kami natutunan lahat ngayong hapon na to. So live life to the fullest. Again, this is Dr. Giselle Barion, uh, one of your hosts for today. Thank you for joining us. Here at Bridges, we build connections of people and connections of knowledge. This is Thelma Maranya. Thank you. Thanking you all here at Bridges. Again, we build bridges of faith, bridges of hope, and bridges of love. There will always be a bridge for tomorrow. So see you in the next exciting episode on safe and enjoyable travels in the new normal. Have a great evening ahead. Mabuhay po ang lahat. Thank Thanks, you. Doc Chris. Bye. Thank you, Doc Chris. Mm -hmm. See you around. <laughs>